Those of you grown in the southern climates, this may be something you've never seen before. This is something called snow. Usually happens in the winter time here in the north. And in the north, a lot of us don't like snow because it causes something called the winter blues. You get all upset because you can't be out here growing your own food. But I look at it different. Snow is a good thing. For one, snow is a good insulator. It's good on your garden beds. If you got perennials planted here, it's going to protect your perennials from the ground freezing. And also, when this snow melts, it's going to pump nutrients in the ground because this is pretty much powderized rainwater. That's all snow is. We all know that rainwater is good for our plants. Anytime you have a big storm, you get a big boom in growth. So the responsible thing for us to do is harvest the snow. Now, if you got barrels like this, you could take the snow, put it in this barrel, and when it gets warmer out, you're going to open it up. You're going to notice you don't have snow anymore. It's actually going to turn into water. And that water is going to be full of nutrients and loaded with nitrogen. So your plants are going to love it. If you're growing inside in the wintertime, like you should be, there's a lot of plants you can grow indoors under grow lights. Make sure you check out the grow light video I just did. I'll put a link in the description on that. We could harvest some of the snow right now, bring it inside, let it melt, and our plants are going to love it. What we have here is a basic jug, one gallon jug. It's going to take some snow, fill up the jug. I had to bust out another tool here. These are called gloves. Since snow is really cold, it can actually burn your hands. It's like seven out right now, so it wasn't feeling too good. When you're harvesting your snow, make sure you're using clean snow. Don't grab that dirty snow off the side of the road that's full of exhaust fumes. And occasionally you're going to run into yellow snow. That's also not good. Don't use that. Unless, maybe it's got extra nitrogen in it. We're not going to try that out. We're going to keep going with the clean snow. That is intriguing though. The yellow snow. Nah, not going to try that one. All right. Got a decent snow harvest going on right here. So we're going to bring this indoors so it can melt. And I'm actually going to put it under some warm water to speed up the process. Because I want to use this right away for my indoor plants. My snow is currently at room temperature. If you're wondering how much rainwater you're going to get from a gallon of snow, the answer is about one quart. I'm going to go ahead and fill up my squirt bottle here. I always like to water my inside plants with a squirt bottle. When I'm starting seeds, I'll do the bottom watering method where I put water in the bottom of the tray and let it soak up that way. But this with this deeper planter here, I don't want it to get soaked. I got no drainage underneath it because I don't need it. I'm not going to waterlog these. So I just go through here, just kind of spray next to each plant to get it nice and moist. These plants are really excited about this because they've been getting well water for the past couple weeks. And it's not doing them any good. It doesn't have all those beneficial rainwater nutrients in it. So I'm thinking the next couple days, I'm going to see some explosive growth out of these guys. Which is good, because I'm making a video about growing lettuce indoors. If any of you guys use this method of melting snow, or just using rainwater to water your inside plants, let me know in the comments. Let me know how it's working out for you. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching.